Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Intelli Skills. In this video, we have another question, and today's question is very interesting and it is a bit tricky. It's confusing. And these type of questions frequently come when you appear for the written test in interviews. So must take a look at this question and we have the solution attached at the later part of the video where we'll discuss very important things. So the question goes like this. There is a parent class and it has a static void print method which prints parent. All right. And then we have a child class which extends the parent class and over there we have a static void print method which prints child and then in the main method we have parent p equal to new child and then we say p dot print okay so what do you think will be the correct answer now there are four options okay option a parent option b child Option C, it will give a compilation error. Option D, it will give a runtime exception. So, now I want you to pause the video, analyze the question, find out the correct answer and then uh, you can resume the video and see to the solution. And make sure to see the solution part. We will discuss a lot of important things there. Now, let me tell you the correct answer. The correct answer is option A, parent. Now, why is this the correct answer? See, first we have in the parent class a static void print method. Okay, static is the keyword which is making this confusing. Okay, and it has parent. Same goes for child class. Uh, there is also the static print method which has child. And then in the main method we call, uh, you know, the print method. Now, what print method will it execute? That is a question. Now, many people will think that the child class is overriding the print method of the parent class. But it's not like that because both are static methods here. Static, static. Both are static methods here and static methods are not overridden. They are hidden. Okay. Now, let me explain what that means. So, if I remove the static keyword from here. So it is white print, white print, same name, same parameter, both in the child class method and uh, the uh, parent class method. Now see, let us call it subclass superclass. Now the subclass method is overriding the parent class, uh, the uh, superclass method, because in this case, the both are instance methods, non-static methods. So when the methods are non-static, the subclass method will override the parent class the super class method all right but if the static keywords are present both the methods are static the subclass method will hide the super class method they will it will not overwrite it will hide so this happens when it is a stat when both the methods are static okay in this case it is static so the the subclass method is hiding the super class method okay and you can see in the main method, uh, the reference type is parent, okay? And the object is of child. Reference type is parent. And we know that static methods are uh, class level methods. They are not instance level methods. So they do not depend on objects. They depend on the class. So over here, whatever reference type, what, what is the reference type parent? So it will call the parent method, the parent class method. Okay, not the child class method because it does not depend on the object. It depends on the reference type. So this print method it will call and that is why it will print parent. Let me run the program and show you that it prints parent. You can see it prints parent. Okay. So yes, this was the reason static methods are not uh, overridden. They are hidden and as the reference type is parent, that is why it is calling the parent class method. I hope you understood. If you have any doubts, you can say it down below in the comments. I'll surely answer your doubts. So we will post these type of confusing questions in our channel on a regular basis. Okay. So please follow our channel, subscribe our channel if you haven't yet done it. Okay. So 
that's it for today's video i'll meet you in the next video till then keep learning keep practicing and keep exploring thank you and bye bye